folks, aloha and welcome to a new episode of Dofuga TV Japan Mania here with my very lovely and special guest co-host, the Ashley Nagaoka. Thanks for Hi. having me, Polly. And Danny from Fujiya. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on Dokuga TV oh, today. No. This is fun having you here. Oh, thank you. Now, I've been a huge fan of, of course, the mochi and all the confectionery and snacks that I've bought a lot of. So it's nice to be here and you're going to show us how to make peanut butter mochi? Yes. Okay. So peanut butter mochis are most popular oh, flavor here at the store. So it's white mochi okay. with chunky peanut butter. Mm. And then it's rolled in kinako. Okay. First we'll make our mochi. So does your family like pan mochi in the years? Mm -hmm. We used to do it with the mallets and the stone, but wow. oh, we're all a little older now and gotta save our backs. <laughs> I do notice, Danny, they're like young workers in there too, right? And I see a lot of you more seasoned people teaching them how, so that's great that it's like carrying yeah. on the practice. Yes. Yes. We wanna keep the tradition going, yeah. and we've been very, very fortunate. We've had students like come during the summer. Oh, awesome. Oh. Um, and then they come back part-time even when school started, so it's been really good. Okay, so now at this time, mm -hmm. you can make as many as you want. So it's a race now. Yeah, well, <laughs> again, I know, where, I know where I belong in the, uh, in the line of uh, making stuff on this show. So all good. I've come to terms with it. All good. One side is going to be nice and smooth, mm -hmm. okay. and the other side is a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So okay. you're going to dust the not so nice side, and then you're going to fill it with this. OK. OK? So. And then pull oh. up the side. <laughs> Just make a little pouch. Pinch it close. Like Chao Subao. That's a different show. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chao Subao. So, Polly, as you know, um, mm -hmm. I have a peanut allergy. I, so yes, I, I do. Basically, risking my life for you. Uh, and that's how much I love you. So. And I love you. Because <laughs> I love peanut butter mochi. Yeah. See, the trick for me is not wearing all of the potato starch. <laughs> I think I'm getting psyched out because of that. <laughs> She's on her third one. <laughs> me too, Sensei, me too. It's like your rate of mochi uh, productivity keeps going up <laughs> every time. I would totally come, like, volunteer here. This is so Yay! fun. Oh, yeah, I love this. <laughs> well, I'll come and buy because that's about the extent of my talent. Best guesstimate, pieces of mochi do you make in a day? We make about... 400 something different wow. mochi a day. Wow. When we do like the pop-ups and things like that, we can do up to like 600. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one is a little bit of a... Rustic... Uh... As a disadvantage. <laughs> uh... Cover it all with the kinako. and just kind of toss it like this. See, this I can handle. <laughs> this I can handle. It tastes better when it's made by hand, yeah? Well, it has more love in it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There you go. Secret ingredient. Yeah. Okay, the nuts! Right. Yay. Yay. Thank you. Yay. Awesome job. Yes. That's very good for the first time, you know. You're awesome. You're just making me feel better. It's really good. I'm in the presence of greatness. I realize that. I realize that, yeah. We're going to show you more of the great snacks, the mochi, the confectionery that they have here at Fujiya, and then get to know a little bit more about the history of this wonderful place. So be right back, folks. We're going to be making our mochi called Mixed Berry. Is it a popular one? It was very popular until we started making our special pumpkin crunch for the oh. holidays. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of quieted down a little right. bit. So this is the ang that we put okay. in the middle. Okay. So it has diced strawberry and whole blueberries. Oh and it's encased in the white bean paste. So you brush off the potato starch. Potato starch, OK. Or katakuriko. Katakuriko. And then you just roll it up. And I'm going to break it in little pieces for you. We always have a little extra when we make a roll, but we usually you know, have a lot. This is what you have to do. So you pick it up. And one side always looks nice and smooth, and the other side is kind of junky. <laughs> smooth and junky. So, because you know it has pieces in front. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah, just yeah. brush it off. Okay. So you can pick it so up. I pick one up. Brush off one side. Then you're gonna pick up one of the ang balls. Then this hand is just kind of cradling the mochi. mochi. But what you have to do is pull up the sides so that you encase it all like you're making a little um, pouch. Actually, that's gonna be the bottom. Right. So, so, so then you just kind of pinch it and we're gonna pull this part off so it's... Yeah. 
And then when you get it, don't pinch it together. Then go once and then hold it like this. And pinch this side. Pinch that up, okay. Okay. And put that down. Okay. And just pat it down so it's nice. How many do you make a day, Dad? Oh, sorry. Wow. Saw the first one? Got it. <laughs> you know, it's not what the outer appearance looks like. <laughs> exactly. Okay? It's That's what's right. inside. Exactly. See, though? It's nice and round. Yeah. yeah. And definitely not for retail sale. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> well, compared to the Fujiya retail version over there. Can you come and help us for the holidays? Of course. I love this. <laughs> We do everything by hand here, so you I can know. come and meet. That's fantastic. Yeah, I just got played over here, so look at that. That's <laughs> yeah, he pulled you something can off, come right? Too. I can come I can come by. I'll go I'll buy the Ashley and I'll go to one. That's what I'll do. Okay. Come here, this is like Nagaoka will always win over Kai Hue. There you go. Well that was uh that was uh it went exactly how I thought it would go. Just letting you know, Ashton. Let me pretty these guys up a little bit more. <laughs> All right, we've been having so much fun here at Fujiya, and we want to introduce our Dokoga TV viewers to Chris and Devin, who kind of run the show here at the store. Now, a lot of people don't know, so Fujiya has been around since 1953, but you really stepped in and helped save the brand to ensure it keeps going on. Tell our viewers about that. About three years ago, we took over Fujiya, kind of falling apart at that point. You know, I grew up eating a lot of this stuff. My grandmother worked at Shirkia and brought home uh, Fujiya stuff all the time. Love Senbei, that was like my, like my go-to. We had this opportunity to uh, maybe even try to save this iconic brand and the, and the product. So brought in all these other people to help, and that's what we've been doing. Right, and that was during the pandemic, right? I mean, talk about a long road of uncertainty. Just before the pandemic hit, we were just about to complete construction of this new location. We were like, I'm not sure if we're gonna even get to open. It was, it was a struggle just to get there and to be able to be like, oh no, like pandemic. I think it was September of last year, uh, we, we were able to open and people came back. Keep People just were waiting. Oh, yeah. We were waiting for a few years. Yeah. And so we're happy to provide these products and then add so much more. Yeah, Devin, what has the response been like since you guys have been open? I mean, we've seen the line all day here. Yeah, so recently a lot more clientele coming in, very happy with some of the new products and our traditional products. Really happy for that. Yeah, so tell us about like what you guys offer now. It's not just mochi anymore. Some of these we recommend is our nine piece platters and they have a little bit of everything like chichidango, our mochi, whether it's a fresh fruit mochi and some manju items. It gives you a little bit of everything to try. We have also arare from Japan and some items like senbei to take home to the mainland of your friends. What do people come here for? I think our peanut butter, our strawberry our, have been always the popular ones. But lately, it's our pumpkin crunch, yes. which uh, Danny <laughs> was the mastermind behind. Oh, really? Yeah, Danny. It's been like off the charts good. So really having a hard time keeping up with it, right. just uh, labor. You know, we always keep our traditional uh, items like the tsumami and the hakutai, which are our white bean and our, you know, our red bean. And, you know, that that's, goes to the roots of what we're doing. And then the manju we always do, but now we've added a lot more flavor profiles. Right. All right, well, we can't wait to try them. We'll be right back. You're watching Doko God TV. Ashley, wow, the treats just don't stop here at Fujiya. It smells so good in here. Kentaro desu, yoroshiku onegashimasu. お願いします。はい、僕はフジアのえっと、饅頭とせんべいの担当をしております。僕のまんじゅうは、あの、日本のまんじゅうをイメージして、ハワイのイメージを混ぜたようなまんじゅうを作ろうと思っています。日本とハ
ハワイのまんじゅうを食べた時にまんじゅうって書いてあるんだけど全然違うから、うん、全然違うなって思ったんだけどじゃあそれをイメージして日本の人が好きなもの、はい、ハワイの人が好きなものを混ぜて作ったのがこのまんじゅうです。I'm so ready. うん、わお、うん、おいしい。めっちゃおいしいよ。自分で作ってもおいしい。うん。<笑>うん、<笑> oh my god。Wow, I was expecting it to kind of have a really kind of a tough exterior, the crust, but absolutely crumbles. Then you get, I got the chocolate hit, you got the. Okay, now I'm sweet potato. That's the perfect amount of sweetness. このね、うん、せんべいだけは僕がちょっと一生懸命作ってるんですけど、はい、<笑>僕が考えたのは、はい、例えば紫のは紫のこの沖縄スイートポテトの本物を入れてるんですよ香りも良くなるし、はい、ちょっと歯ごたえがあるんですわかりました、うん、すごい時間かかるね時間かかるはいでもあのいろいろ考えてこれを混ぜたら美味しくなるなとかやってますで最近新しいのはそのでストロベリー、いちごもやりました。いちごも本物のいちごを混ぜてるんですよ。師匠、カレー師匠、一名スカーラー、スカーラーレベル、マンジュメイキング。We have a lot to eat and、uh, work our way through here all the various snacks at Fujiya. We'll be right back, folks. But again, mahalo, kitarazan, arigatouzasu. Arigatouzasu. Bye bye.